Hello, Mrs. Pratt here, and I have a story to read for you. Chalk. Did you know there are three ways to read a book? The first way is to read the pictures, and that's what we're going to do today when we read the book Chalk by Bill Thompson because he didn't put any words in this book. So let's see what happens in this story, Chalk, that we get to make up the words. Here's a toy at the park with a bag hanging on it. I wonder what's in the bag. There are three children walking in the rain to the park. They get the bag from the toy dinosaur's mouth and look inside. <gasps> they find some chalk. Oh, chalk. That's the name of the story. They found some chalk. The first little girl chooses some yellow chalk and she draws the sun. Because remember, it's raining outside. <gasps> look. Oh my goodness. The sunshine comes right up off the pavement, and now it is going to be a sunny day. It must be magic chalk. Look at the beautiful sun, and the clouds are going away. The next little girl chooses kind of an orangey pink color, and she is drawing butterflies. Do you think that her chalk is magic too? Oh my goodness, look at all the butterflies. She drew butterflies and they came fluttering right off the pavement into the sky. It is magic chalk. Hmm, the little boy chooses green. Wonder what he will draw. And I wonder if his chalk is magic. Can you see what he's starting to draw? Do you know what it is? Oh no! There's a shadow of a dinosaur! He drew a dinosaur! It came right off the sidewalk and now it's real. It was magic chalk. Run! and they dive into the tunnel slide. I hope the dinosaur doesn't fit inside. He's chasing after them, but he does not fit inside. Good thing. But he's looking at them. Do you think he wants to eat them? Oh no, the little boy gets his chalk out and draws on the inside of the tunnel. He's drawing rain, a cloud and some rain. Hmm, wonder what will happen next. The clouds come back and the dinosaur looks up. And it starts to rain and it erases the dinosaur because remember he's really made out of chalk and now he's just like a little puddle on the ground and the children are safe again they put their chalk back in the bag and hang it on the toy dinosaur's mouth so maybe some more children can come find the magic chalk. And the three children walk home in the rain again. Would your mom and dad believe you if you came home and told them that you had magic chalk and made the sun and the butterflies and the dinosaur? I don't know if my mom and dad would believe me if I told them that story. But you see, there were no words in this book and we made up our own story. It's a very fun way to read a book. See you later.